believe that he's gonna make top eight. I, I definitely think. I've so. got faith in my boy. Like he, uh, you couldn't really make an argument for seating him over those players, but I would not be surprised to see him win. Yeah. Uh, but all right, we are getting into this match. Josh actually rocking the the Ryu, which he has been playing for a lot of matchups, and uh, I think he agrees with me. I think the reason he's playing him so much is. You really should. I mean, they have different matchup spreads, and they're not. It's not that hard to pick switch from one to the other. So yeah, Here's it's, a, it's really optimal to play both. I think it's like kind of a. a oh, lower, oh my, my god! Beautiful. Yeah. I think he, it's kind of like a lower level mentality to think that like, oh, they, they're basically the same characters, so they have the same matchup yeah, spread. They're actually they play uh, pretty differently. They really do. They're uh, or at least they have different strengths. Yeah. Even though they have sort of a. Uh, they're definitely you know. uh, some. They're definitely matchups that uh, one does better than the other. Yeah, and uh, I could see why. He, well, I don't know if he picked Ryu in this game because he thinks Ryu is better against Hero, or if just he wants to practice the character and he's feeling really confident. I'm gonna say probably the second one because otherwise yeah. he counterpicked game one, which is pretty scummy. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think he's definitely just practicing his Ryu, and uh, he would probably go Ken in this matchup normally. That's really hard to get around, yeah. but you, you uh -oh. can tech it, but. You gotta know the timing. And, yeah, uh, so teching a multi-hit is hard enough, but teching that multi-hit is... Well, yeah, because you don't know how many hits it's gonna be. It's, yeah. It changes depending on how long it is. But he's still feeling really comfortable. I mean, it is Hero, but... Yeah, Hero's got the That's fully charged. Accident. Oh my god, he could've... If he if he neutral beat, I don't know if it would've killed, but... Yeah, yeah oh it doesn't kill, almost But it killed. literally does 40%. Yeah. It did 40%, and now uh, Glaive's actually got a lead here. I don't know what these focuses are. I'm gonna assume that's a mistake. Yeah, Josh uh, is having a lot of trouble finding his footing. And, oh, and uh, you know, that's the Shoto special. You're not really sure what to do. Just back air. It works. It just works. All right. All right. Uh, I'm not sure what buff that is on Hero, but Josh has to be a little careful. He that, is that's definitely the psych up, not the oomph. The, oh, oh, my God. Well, he and a crit. He didn't need that crit. But yeah, he didn't need the crit. I don't even think he needed the psych up. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> That but was one of the most overkill kills so we're, I've seen. We're super even here. It's funny he played Ryu in this matchup, but he's not using the projectiles that much at all, or or the down tilt side Bs. So definitely feels like more of just a picket because I feel like picking it. But uh, it might bite him in the ass here. He does not have the lead. Uh, it doesn't matter too much for him, but he's not as comfortable as he wants to be. Yeah. That is a terrible trade. <laughs> That's one of the worst Watch projectiles the trading with one of the. That was so stronger. smart. You see, he saw him hovering over the snooze. Wow. Oh my god. And that's really all it takes. You saw him hovering over the snooze and he upbeat to the platform because he get, couldn't land into the snooze. Yeah, and that's kind of that's one of those things where, that really separates uh, really good players from not as good players. The, the thing I've always loved about Josh is he's very thoughtful. Like you never see him autopilot. Yeah. You when you're auto when you're autopiloting, you immediately think, "Oh no, upbeat's bad. Like they're nowhere near me, so it's not going to hit, and yeah. I'm not recovering. So why would I use upbeat? It's just going to put me in free fall." Mm -hmm. But that's the only option you have. You can air dodge, maybe get to the ledge, but why risk that when you could just upbeat? Hmm. Yeah. So uh, that was uh, great to Josh to actually close out that game. It was looking a little scary there. Yeah, but Glad uh, Glad held his own for sure. Yeah. Uh, caught like caught Josh a couple times, just saying like you can't just pull out your secondary and still win for free um yep. it's uh I, w I wouldn't be surprised if we see ken game two yeah i actually i if we don't see ken i wouldn't be surprised if glad is able to put one up looks on the like they've, they've already got into it and uh we are seeing the ryu yeah uh he's feel, still feeling confident i mean he's definitely you know one of the best ryu players out there really period at this point this is, yeah there's not a lot of them because I mean, it's not that easy to play them but josh does it wonderfully yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, they're one of those characters where, like, it's not that easy to play them, but they're pretty dumb. So, like, oh, yeah. when, when you know how to play them, like, uh, <laughs> you know, silly things happen. Kind of like Shulk or something. Yeah, they're, like, they're, they're like easy to play in that you don't have to play the game necessarily. But Although, as far as Ultimate goes, they definitely are one of the more fundamental characters, as much as people like to complain about them. Yeah. Um, Josh, uh, again, with a small deficit. Oh, well, that's that, dead. Yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah, I feel like the thing about Ryu is you're, he's playing a matchup where he wants to run at you and not like throwing projectiles. So when you have this deficit, like uh, Ryu doesn't get the reward that he does. But again, the downer downer apparently is a true combo. I didn't know. I didn't know it just works like that. I think it might be character specific. The, I that feel like that's 35. that's a huge oversight if that's just true on everyone. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. It will sour spawn on some characters, but Hero definitely pretty big, good fall speed to get hit by stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, I. Yeah, I saw that come from a mile away, going for the second down air again. 
And Glive, Glive was getting a lot of mileage off the uh, neutral B, both this game and last game, but he doesn't really have a position to charge up or even land it. Wow. That down air, so much reward, and Josh loves going for it. I mean, even if you shield it, like, he can cancel it. Has so much shield done, so. Yeah. Oh, my God. And somehow Josh has turned this into an absolute stomp. I don't know when or where he did that, but. Yeah. It feels like Glad was uh, giving him so much trouble last game, wasn't letting him land or find any footing, and Josh just said, oh, I'm going to do that this game. Yeah. I mean, he's just finding his openings. I don't know why he's doing this as Ryu and not Ken, but hey. Oh. oh, he fell out. I wonder if that was because of the focus, because it's supposed to drag you into it. Yeah. And if you armor the first hit, it might not drag you correctly. That, is, that is like the 10th down air that he's landed this yeah. time. And yeah, the backer is going to kill. So very solid play from Josh. He was yeah. not sweating in that second game. So uh, 